Hello, my name is Wendell Price. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas. I went to academy in Maryland, uh, a maritime academy, studied celestial navigation and culinary and engineering. Uh, went off on ships for nine years of my life, um, starting at the age of 19. Um, that gave me a lot of education uh, abroad, helping me out to understand culture, life, and everything. And um, Indonesia, Japan, Guatemala, Honduras, Hawaii, uh, made way back to Los Angeles and opened my first restaurant in Los Angeles and the uh, restaurant was called Your Mama's. Built it up to turn it into a catering company and start working for Los Angeles uh, stars. Start working for Steve Harvey Show, Martin Lawrence Show, Queen Latifah. That led me to open up a restaurant with Norm Nixon and Denzel Washington, um, a restaurant called George's, 7250 Melrose. Um, two years after that project was open, I met Carl Lewis, the track star in the airport. He and I opened up a restaurant in um, Houston called Cafe Noir, and now it's called Cafe Soho in Houston, Texas. I made way to, to Memphis, Tennessee, very, very fertile ground. So I said, wow, if I came here and, and to open up a restaurant, not a club, but a restaurant, true dining, I could do pretty good at it. I literally, when I walked into this building, I literally had $250. And I walked out from the coffee shop next door. And um, I said, wow, this is a good location, this area here. And it was a for rent sign in the window. And um, I believe in making things your goal and your destiny and truly living out your dream and doing what you have to do. A lot of great people stepped in and made it happen. This is just great seafood. I have deep fried lobster panko breadcrumbs from Asia and basically throw it a soul food flair in it by giving it some crawfish etouffee in it, which is the New Orleans flair. So I just go across the board. It's, it's seafood, 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 and then taking it from the islands, living in the islands, I do a, a mango grilled halibut. So I just jump around. I, I think there's many great chefs here, but I feel like I'm pushing open a different door here. When you walk in, you don't know what it is, and that's what I was trying to relay versus being a soul food restaurant or an Asian restaurant. And I was just trying to give it its true um, ethnicity and a sense of culture. The things that I'm involved in outside of the restaurant um, is not much, I would say family. Um, my daughter, I got a beautiful daughter. I'm trying to build a relationship. When you're an entrepreneur, you seem to always just be invested, uh, divested in your, your, your project. But outside of this, I live and breathe the restaurants. I think um, I live and breathe food. Um, I just signed a deal with Comcast One in Los Angeles. And um, we do 27 episodes on a new network that comes out prime time. I just finished up uh, 25 episodes on um, the Food Network with Date Plate. So I would love to do more cookbooks and get involved with more things. I have done the Isaac Hayes cookbook. I added uh, 35 celebrity recipes to that. Um, I would, my, my real, like, bottom line goal, you know, yeah, restaurants, 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 but that just keeps you working. We all want to leave something behind. And if I can come to a city like this and give the, the young youth, the uneducated here, some education to give them a vehicle in life to help them grow, and that would be my, 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 my whole thing, just to open up a culinary school here in the city. I'm learning so many things that this city is teaching me and there's so many things I want to teach this city. And that's just how I look at it in a nutshell. Please come here and enjoy Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> and that's about it, right? <laughs>